Hello, my friends, Dorothy here. We're going to talk about the full moon in the sign of Aries today. It is on October 17th. It's in the morning if you're on the East Coast of the U.S. So look at it the night before and that night. You get a great view of this big, beautiful full moon. It's one of those super moons, meaning it's just closer to the planet through its cycle, its monthly lunation cycle. So it will just be spectacular to look at if you can see it. Now, this full moon also is connected to a lunar gestation cycle and don't, don't, don't glaze over yet. <laughs> I will explain, which began with a new moon solar eclipse that we had in April, 2023. So this is a significant full moon in a lot of different ways, in the ways that I've just listed. Now, if you'd like this forecast in the written form, I don't read a teleprompter, so I am just winging it when I talk. The written is thought out a little bit more, so you can go read that on my blog, DorothyMorganAstrologer.com. You can get on my newsletter and I will send it to you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to share my screen so you can see the chart that we are going to be working with today. I'm taking out all the extra aspects, all the extra planets, just have the planets up, nothing else. And not even talking about house placements because this is in different places for everybody depending on your time zone. And so you might think, well, that's not useful because you're so used to people telling you this is what the full moon means for your zodiac sign. And that's great and wonderful too. But I want you to look at this and this is this the energy for everybody. We all get to work with this same energy. However, I'm going to use it differently than you'll use it because of placements, etc. That way, if you don't know where this is, if you don't know what sign you're supposed to be listening to, this is helpful. You don't have to feel like you're confused about anything. So here we are. October 17th, 7.46 a.m. Eastern time. Adjust to your own time zone. This is what a full moon looks like on the astrology wheel. We have it at 24 degrees of Aries. So that is very fiery. That's bold. There's a lot of independent, action-oriented energy when we have the moon in any fire sign. But when it is this, when it's in Aries, we feel very independent. We feel self-focused. This is important to pay attention to. Now, sometimes we're actually, a lot of times in society, we're like, stop being so selfish. But this is one of those points where we need to focus on the self, the self wants and needs and feed that a little bit, this full moon will show us, um, because full moons are complete and total awareness. It is not just about writing things down and releasing and letting go. That is a piece of what the full moon is. But before we get to what we need to let go of, it's important for you to recognize what is important in your life. And full moons, especially in the zodiac sign of that full moon, tells us what that is. So it's Aries, and that tells us that we're looking at places where we need we need courage, we need to inspire others or find inspiration for ourselves. Since it's opposite the sun in Libra, that is mainly about partnerships and relationships. We are it's very easy to see how things are very, so out of balance. There is nothing in the middle. There's no center right now. It's one or the other, no matter what subject matter you have in your view, right? It's not easy. So what is important is with this full moon is that we find a space and a place in your day, in your evening, around this full moon to recognize where you are out of balance and what steps you need to take to bring yourself back into a more balanced and harmonious place. Mm -hmm. It can be about a partnership. It can be about a collaboration. Or it can be that you just not, you just never have enough for you. And this is an opportunity, as we do at Full Moons, to recognize that. And then to put that intention out there as to how you can create more space. And that's where the, the process of um, releasing and writing, writing things down and releasing and letting go 
works because that gives us more space to then be who we are and what we're focusing on at this point in our lives. And that will be different for everybody. However, everybody, no matter what your sun sign, no matter what your moon or rising, we all have with this full moon an opportunity to step into a more self-focus for right now. Go do all the things you want to do, volunteer, help, all of those things. I'm not saying don't do those things, but what I'm saying is make sure you honor some private individual time with yourself so you can figure out what it is you need to get rid of so you can bring yourself back into a more harmonious um, place in life for yourself. Just like the, uh, just like the, they say on the airline, right? Put your mask on first. When we have this uh, configuration, I want you to, this degree, actually, let me just change my subject real quick. This degree, this is at 24 Aries, this full moon. And back 18 months ago, let me grab my notes. Back 18 months ago, where are my notes? Here they are. We had a new moon eclipse and it was on, here it is, April 20th, 2023. And then the new moon solar eclipse at 29 degrees of Aries is very close to where this is here. So they are connected. It's called the lunar gestation cycle. You can find that through Dietrich Pesson. It's a fabulous system to look at because it helps us to connect things. When, Because to me, the, the monthly lunar cycle, that 28 and a half day cycle, it's super quick. So, and plenty can get done in a month, but I like to look at the longer picture. So I would go back and I will, this is what I plan to do. Maybe you will too. Go back to April 20th, 2023 in that time frame, not before, but after, because that was when the eclipse was and the new moon was, look back to see what actions you were taking around then. And sometimes it does squeak in beforehand, but usually everybody's different. So you decide right around April 20th, 2023. No, I, I kind of backed, I back pedaled a little there. Around that date, figure out what it was that you were, where you were being uh, either, you could, could have been aggressive bold, took a step forward into something that you never thought you would do. And it's been 18 months since then. So now we get to see what the results of that have been. I took a big step within a week of that eclipse about something that I do have done, I did for years and years. And then I finally just completely went independent. It's basically around my work. I went completely independent no 1099, nothing, just all just me and how I present myself to you guys. So thank you for your support. It's not always easy. It's a little bit of a struggle most of the time, but I love what I do. So it's always worth it. And thank you guys for all your feedback because it's always important. So to me, that that Aries energy of what it was initiated back in April of 2023 is now coming to a head. So I get to, I will spend some time around this full moon on October 17th, 2024. I'll spend some time and look at what those actions are, what are the results of what I started back then and how it has come to, you know, like a, not, it's not necessarily a finale, but it's like everything is available to me now. And I just wanna see how, what's the best action steps to take do I need some courage? Do I need, would I, would I like to have some collaborations with others? Yes, I would actually. Um, things like that. So what about you? Where do you need collaborations, partnerships, or just back to yourself? Now, the reason I have this chart up here like it is, is because um, some of the, they're, they're a little wide here, but we do have this cardinal cross here. Venus and Uranus are done their opposition, but I just didn't want to take them out. But we do have this full moon and 90 degrees to that is Mars, not 90. It's actually 80, 88 degrees, close enough. So this full moon in Aries, how I take action in Libra, can I do this harmoniously or and or with others? 90 degrees to Mars, Mars and Cancer. 
Now, Mars is going to be at 22 degrees of Cancer. This is the first time, and it will come back, and it will connect with that two more times. And I did write that out. That is written out in the for, the written forecast, but doggone it, I don't remember it in my brain, and I don't want to go look. So here's the first time. So once once Mars actually gets to 24 degrees of Cancer, we're going to, I want you to, uh, yeah. Mars is going to, uh, we're going to feel very active, right? Mars and the moon are in each other's zodiac signs. So that's called mutual reception. So to me, this full moon has a lot of push, a lot of push behind it. Now, something negative that can come out of this is a lot of emotional, um, a lot of emotional dynamic, meaning anger and fear and fighting and discord. It doesn't have to be that way. It will be for some people because fear and anger and emotions have been building for a long time. And it's coming out, honestly. I don't think we're not expressing it, but it could be some other areas in life or in the world that have not been expressing what they need to express. It will come out here as well. Pluto is in playing the long game because he's just at that end of Capricorn and he's still within the parameters of what a square and an opposition is. Um, it is still involved. So it is finalizing. So in a nutshell, Pluto part of this full moon with Mars part of this full moon is saying that we are, things are coming to a head. And it is getting to the point where a lot of the old ways of processing, first off, we're going to look at the old systems, completely and totally in disarray at this point in time. There's still some things working, but there's a lot of things that that are not working. And it is just so apparent and so clear to everybody <clears throat> what's working and what isn't. But bringing this back to you and me, because that's where I like to stay. I want to talk about you because I know what's going on in the world. I like to watch what's happening. I'm a Gemini. I like to gather all the information as much as I can. But I also realize that I'm still, I can only impact what I can impact. I can only make the differences in my life. And that has a ripple effect. And that's what I want you to pay attention to, because that out there gets overwhelming really fast bring it back to you. So, it, and it's just going to come back. You've heard this for, for months and months now from all of us astrologers, the old ways of thinking and processing are not working anymore. And same thing with what your internal process is. Now, there are some things that you know you can rely on in your own life, who you are, maybe it's just you, whatever that, whatever that scenario is. Um, but most of the other things we have to question and change. And this is where we're finally ending. The, we're finally, this is an ending process. We're changing things now. So these are all cardinal signs, cardinal fire, cardinal water, cardinal air, cardinal earth. And that just represents all four cardinal signs are represented when it comes to a grand cross like this. And that just means that we are ready for change. We are aware of the change we need. And we have an opportunity here to sift and sort through what that is for you, for me, and we should take those steps forward. And that is what we should be doing. I'm just going to stop the share now. That's what we should be doing with this full moon. And again, the forecast on my website, DorothyMorganAstrologer.com. The links are below. If you're watching this on YouTube, the links are, all the links are below. And consider supporting me. Thank you for supporting me. I guess I'll say it that way. The talk, the the comments, the likes, the shares, the dislikes, I get shit too. And um, if you'd like, join us over in Patreon. I go much deeper. I do weekly forecasts. I do the month ahead. All of those things are over there in Patreon, and that's where you can financially support me. Here on YouTube, you get everything early. If you're in my membership there, it's just $4.99 a month. You're welcome to come to that too. And uh, I think I'll leave us with that, guys. Ooh, the world is in like a blender right now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Stay in your center. Stay grounded. When things get out of control, just look around. Feel the trees. Hear the birds. Feel the wind. Whatever it is. 
be grounded, and then make choices and decisions from that present calm space. It's something that we need to do because things feel real fiery and real energized, again, especially with the moon in Aries, squaring Mars in Cancer. Yeah. It causes a lot of emotions to boil up. And if you're not letting off that steam a little bit at a time, it can create volcanic issues. <laughs> we don't want that. It's good to get it out. Go to the gym. Go run. There's lots of ways we can manage these things and take care of these things. And um, it is what it is. However, we get we get to choose how we're going to handle it, right? All right. Blessings, everybody. Namaste.